The Black Box Theater is located at the Bloomington Center for the Arts, right next to the Schneider Theater and the Inez Greenberg Gallery. Something that's really exciting about this space is that we are hoping that we can engage more artists in the community. And so we have some new community partners this year that I'm really excited about. One of them is Ballroom and Latin Dance. It is a BIPOC women-owned group that teaches ballroom and Latin dance classes. We have dance lessons every Wednesday and every Saturday evening. So we have a long-term rental agreement where they come twice a week, teach classes, and then also have some really fun social dance opportunities for the community. Most of the students they live around Bloomington, Burnsville. I feel this is a perfect place. That's just one example of some of the arts partners that we're trying to engage with this flexible space. It literally was a big black box, black walls, black curtains, black floor, black ceiling, and that's by design. So when you have performances in a small space, you want to make sure that everything recedes into the background so that way you can focus on what's on stage. The reason we modified the space was because it wasn't really being utilized during the day. Ultimately, what we wanted to do, and we're seeing this in a lot of centers for the arts, is they're transitioning their black boxes into essentially medium gray boxes. They're still performance ready. They still will do the same things that a black box would do, but it's a more welcoming, warm, versatile space for those who want to do meetings, trainings, events, things like that. It takes roughly about five minutes to set up the new black box seating system. So once the chairs, the brackets have been pushed up, the way to lay them flat so it can be stored is to push the lever and then just simply let the seats fall. So this is the new equipment box for the black box. It can be used for presentations where um, wireless microphones are needed and it has the new sound and light board in it so that when there's a theater production or some sort of performance, concert, dance, whatever, their technician can run the sound and the lights from the board. So one of the purposes of creating this video is so that not only the general community knows that this is an asset to them for whatever their needs are, but also city departments. We're finding that we need a flexible space for a lot of the community engagement that the City of Bloomington is doing in addition to commission work and just general meetings and trainings. So this is a really great flexible space that can fit anywhere between 15 up to 120 individuals. We love this place, beautiful yeah. and very, you know, like a professional place. I like the tall ceilings. Yes. yes. <laughs> so you don't feel like you're going to smack your hand on the ceiling, right? There is a definite need for space, especially for those artists who aren't as established or emerging. And so one of the hopes with the new black box or medium gray box, whatever you want to call it, space, is that it's the perfect size for those who can't fill the Schneider Theater, which is almost 400 seats. That can be a little daunting or overwhelming. So this space is really meant to be kind of an arts incubator space, a community engagement space, something that the general community can use that is less costly, but still has the amenities that they can use to fully deliver whatever it is that their event, meeting, training, or arts activity is. So if you're interested in renting the black box space, you can go to the Center for the Arts webpage on the city's website and you can look at the rental form um, and get rental information as far as email and contact for the Art Center Manager.